Hello, today we are going to learn about half-life. We will derive the equation for half-life. Uh, we know that half-life is denoted by T and its general definition is the duration during which half of the original number of nuclei of a radioactive material are decayed. Here is the radioactive decay law. Using the radioactive decay law, we will derive the mathematical expression for half-life. The radioactive decay law states that, that a radioactive material decays exponentially with time. Uh, let's suppose we have a radioactive material that is 10 gram and after every half-life, it reduces to half of the original radioactive material for example if this is 10 gram initially then after the one half life the remaining radioactive material will be 5 gram then similarly after another half life this will reduce to 2.5 gram and so on uh, now this is the form of radioactive decay now uh, where n naught this n0 represents the initial number of nuclei present in the radioactive material where n is the number of nuclei uh, present in the radioactive material after uh, radiation or some time where e is the exponential form lambda is the decay constant and its value depends on the nature of material where t represents the time. Now from this chart, we know that after every one half life, for example, t is equal to t, capital T represents the half life. After every one half life, the number of radioactive material, number of nuclei present in the radioactive materials will be equal to n naught which represents the initial number of nuclei present in the radioactive material divided by 2 because after every half life uh, the number of radioactive material reduces to uh, half now in this equation we will substitute the value of n is equal to n naught divided by 2 now we have this equation after substituting the value for n, we will have 1 over 2 n naught is equal to n naught e power minus lambda t. Now here this initial number of nuclei present in the radioactive material will cancel out with this n naught. And we will be left with 1 over 2 is equal to e power minus lambda t. Now we can write this equation as 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over e power lambda t. This minus sign is changed into a positive sign so we have 1 over e power lambda t and now doing simple cross multiplication here multiplying 2 with 1 and this one with e power lambda t we will have e power lambda t is equal to 2. Now we are going to take natural log on both the sides of the equation taking natural log on the left hand side will cancel out with the exponential term and we will have uh, lambda t is equal to log of 2 and the value of log of 2 you can calculate this value with the help of a calculator is equal to 0 0.693 so we have lambda t is equal to 0 0.693 and finally we will have t is equal to 0 0.693 divided by lambda and this is the final expression for half life now what does this expression mean this t here is the half-life and lambda is the radioactive decay constant and where 0 0.693 is a numerical value or a constant value. From this equation we can say that half-life is inversely proportional to decay constant lambda. That's it. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe. Easy to you for more videos.